Hi, I'm Roxana from VP State and in this video I will show how to manage the custom fields for the team advanced search. In the VP Residence team, you will have the option to create an advanced search using team options and you will also have the option to create a custom search form using the search form builder for Elementor. Adding new custom fields in the search form will have the same rules for the team option search and for the search created with the search form builder. In this video, you will learn how to add different custom fields in both search forms, the one from team options and the one created with the search form builder. In this page, the search form is the one created from team options and here the search is created with the search form builder. The search from team options will show on headers created from the team. For example, in this page, I will show the backend of the page. The Google Maps header is set here and you have options to display or not the search in the backend of the page. For the page that uses the search form created with Elementor, the team custom header is set to none and the header section is created with Elementor. Next I will show the options available for both. I will start with the search form created from team options. To change search fields I will need to go to team options and in search section I will have all options for the advanced search. To be able to set custom fields for the search form, the option to use custom fields for advanced search will need to be enabled and scrolling below you will have here advanced search custom fields section where you can add your own fields fields for the search. Next, I will show the types of fields available for the search. Once you have enabled custom fields, you can also set the number of search fields that will show in the search and the number of search fields per row. You see that we have set seven fields. So here we have seven spots to choose custom fields. And also we selected to display four fields per row here. And on front end, you will see four fields displayed per row. I will start explaining how to add custom fields and the types of fields that can be added in search. I will start with the location field. Currently we have set the search type 6. This is the one. This search type will work with tabs. We have a special video tutorial created for this search type and all will be explained. Now I will start with the type of fields that can be added in the search. I will start with the location field. I have already added for sales category. You can select it from this drop down and the compare term for this field will need to be like. The label added here will not apply and on front end this is the field. The field will search properties by their address, state, city, area or zip code. The user will need to type an address here and select it from the drop down. The label enter an address, state, city, area or zip zip code can be changed in team code or using the local translate plugin. Going back to team options, for this field we have a special option, this one, on home page show only location field. If this option will be enabled, then on the search in home only in home, the other fields will not be visible. Next, I will explain how to add property categories in the search form. You can select them from this drop down as well. The property categories are types, categories, county, state, cities and areas. The admin can add elements to these categories from admin under properties. Here you'll have categories type city. I will open categories and the elements that admin will add here will be visible in the drop down in the search form. I will go back to the search section in team options. Here I have categories selected, county, state, cities and areas. These all are property categories. The compare term for categories is like. And here you will need to add the label that will be seen on front end. I will save changes. On front end, the categories fields will be drop downs and will display the elements added in admin. Going back to team options, for property categories, you will have the option to enable multi-select. These settings can be found in taxonomy's multi-selection section. You will have here a yes no option for each category and if you enable them, I will save changes. 
on front end you'll have a multi select option also you will have these two buttons select all or you can reset the selection by selecting none going back you'll have this option show search in the multi select component if enabled on front end along with the select all and select none you will have this search that will help you find elements quicker for example if i type land then only this will be left in the drop down next i will go to advanced search display here you'll have another option for the property categories this is the one show properties with zero properties in advanced search and properties lists if this option is set to no then in the drop downs you will not see the categories that do not have any properties assigned i will go back to the custom field setup the fields county state cities and areas will be connected between them and this means that when you select a county in city you will have only the elements that are assigned to this county and in areas you will have the areas that are assigned to the city selected in the city category field going back to theme options next you can select the country field to show in the search i will show you'll have it here this field also requires like as compare term and here you, the property country will have its own label and the option added here will not apply on front end i will save changes going on front end you will have the all countries field that will display all countries from team code the field was not created to be allowed on a multi-country platform and for that reason the country is independent from states cities and counties and will show all countries automatically going back to team options next i will show how to add in the search bedrooms rooms and bathrooms field you'll have special settings for these fields first i will select them to show in search so i will select property rooms property bedrooms and property bathrooms these three fields can be set as drop downs or as fill in fields the option is managed here show drop downs for beds bedrooms and rooms if set to yes then on front end you'll have drop downs you can set the values for drop downs here and in the list of custom fields you will need to set a like as compare term here you will need to add the label that will be seen on front end i will save changes now on front end you'll have property rooms property beds and property beds in the drop downs you will see the values that were selected in team options going back you'll also have the option to set these fields as fill in fields for that the option will need to be disabled i will save changes and for fill in field the compare term will be different now you can set equal greater or smaller when equal means that the results will return properties with an equal value for rooms as the value searched for greater means that the results will display properties with equal and greater value for rooms and smaller means that the results will display properties with equal and smaller value than the one searched i will select greater for all and save changes now on front end the property rooms beds and but will be fill in fields and the user will be able to type the values to look for going back to team options in the search you can also add property side field and property lot size field i will select them here i have property size and property lot size these two fields are numeric fields and the compare term needs to be set to equal greater or smaller depending on how you want the results to be returned i will set greater for both here you will need to add the label that will be seen on front end i will save changes now you will have these two fields that will be fill in fields going back in the search drop down you can set a field that will display beds and bots this is the one the compare term will need to be equal and the label on front end will need to be added here on front end you'll have this field and when opened you will have numbers for beds and bathrooms the numbers will be the ones that you set for beds and baths drop down you can select values you can reset the selection made and once you are done you need to press done and this field will look for both of the values in the same time in the custom fields drop down you'll have available to choose the property address this field will allow users to look by property address field compare term needs to be set to equal 
and the label will need to be added here. I will save changes. This is the field for address and here the user will type the address he wants to look for. Going back, next you'll have the property zip field. This field will require like as compared term. The label can be added here. I will save changes and on front end in the search you will have a fill in field where user can look for the postal code of the property. Going back, next you will have property status. This is a property category as well and will require like as compared term and on front end you will have the list of status elements that were added by admin. The property status can be managed by admin under properties here. In the search form you can also add property ID field. The team will generate automatically a property ID. In the property page you will see it here. This ID is unique in the site and it is generated by WordPress when a post is created and this ID cannot be edited. If you want to look for this ID in the search then in team options you will need to select the property ID field. The compare term will need to be equal and here you can add the label that will be seen on front end. I will save changes. Now in the search form you will have a fill in field and the user will need to type here the ID of the property. If you do not like this ID and you want to use custom IDs then you can create a custom field for IDs. For that you will need to go to team options general custom fields. Here you can add the custom fields that you want. You can add one for property ID. I will show how to do this. I will add here the field label. I will add here here the label that will be seen on front end. Next you can select the field type. If you want the ID to only have numbers you can set numeric but if you want to have letters and numbers you can set it as short text. You'll need to add here the order in the list, add the field and save changes. Now if you want to add this field in the search you need to go to search and here you will find the field in this drop down. This is the field that I just added. As compared term you will need to set it depending on the type of the field. If you will create the field as numeric you will need to add equal. If you set it as short text you will need to add like as compared term. Next in the list you will have the keyword field. The keyword field will allow you to look for the property title. When selected like will need to be set as compared term and here you can add the label that will show on front end. I will save changes and now you will have a fill in field that will look for property title words. The user will need to add words from the titles and the results will return properties that have that word. Going back to team options in the list you will have the option to set geolocation and geolocation radius fields. We have a special video tutorial created for these two fields where we explain exactly how to use the fields. Moving forward, next you'll have the list of custom fields. You will see the fields that admin set in general in custom fields section. All the fields added here can be added in the search form. Depending on the field type, in search you will need to set different compare terms. For example, the custom fields can be added as short text, long text, numeric, date or dropdowns. I will go to search and show how to set custom fields of each type. So I will start with MLS. MLS field was added as short text. This means that the compare term will be like and for all custom fields the label on front end will need to be added here. Like will also be the term if the field will have a long text type. Also here in the list you will have property year that is a numeric field. For numeric fields you can add equal, greater or smaller depending on the way you want results to be returned. You will also have a custom field with date format. For these fields you will need to set date bigger or date smaller as compared term depending on how you want the results to be returned and also the custom fields can be drop downs for example this one is a drop down and all drop downs will need to have like as compared term in the fields available for the search you will also have price but the details are complex and we have a separate video tutorial with all details these are the options available for advanced search fields 
Along with the fields, you can also enable feature and amenities for the search. The option can be found here, show features and amenities. If enabled, you will need to select here the features that will show in search and on front end you'll find features and amenities under more search options. Here you will see the features selected. For search forms created with the search form builder for Elementor, you'll have the same fields available. They will need to be set in the search form builder form fields section. You'll have the same fields and the compare term will need to be added exactly as the one in team options. This wraps our video. Thank you for watching and do not forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel to get instant notifications on new videos.